sweeping the Sky Invitation, sweeping all these events he got first at. Like, yes, he lost his set here or there, but at the same time, like, we're seeing almost like an early dominance now, even with the PGR season starting. So we'll see how it changes, like, things for Frostbite, things for even Summit. You know, we haven't even seen that. So we'll see. Yeah, this game has really brought all the best of everything in the Smash series together. So that's super hype. And we've got Nurse, actually a player I've really been looking forward to seeing in um, Smash 4. But now we get to see him in Ultimate. He's a Wario player, I believe, from Alberta. Um, now sporting Zelda. And, and also a commentator. Uh, no, actually, that's a, the names are Switch, I believe. Nurse is the Richter, and uh, Ken Can is the Zelda. Oh, okay. Unless, you know, he's... Unless Not they're using main, the wrong right? tags. No, no, Nurse. Okay. Um, so yeah, he's a Canadian player, very strong in Smash 4 from what I've heard. So Richter, this is one of the characters that not only has a newcomer to the series, but also people want to see, can this character wreck brackets? Or is this character doomed to sort of being the one-trick pony and having a poor recovery, almost like Little Man? I mean, it seems like his potential is high, but also there's so much item manipulation and so much calculus you have to do to like make sure everything's okay. I don't know. We'll see. This character requires a very large brain <laughs> in <laughs> a short summary. So we'll see. Nurse so far barely even touched. Still under the 60% mark. And we're a minute in? Okay, that's pretty good. Less than one damage per second. But he's going to drop a stock to that up B from Zelda. One of the most ridiculous uh, knockback values you could find in Smash Ultimate. Yeah, especially for a recovery. That's a blink. I mean, on the way in, on the way out, it hurts. And another welcome change for Zelda. But... Right now, 12%, 129 off stage against Richter. Right now, we are seeing like that dominance being enforced early on, but we'll see how much he pushes through with it. If you've got a holy water waiting at the edge, man, the world is your oyster. You could pretty much throw that forward smash out risk-free. You'll almost never get whiff punish for it. Yeah, and that's where a lot of like the Richter players that might from a year today wow us. It's like, what are they gonna do with the basically geometry that their moveset creates. Like, after they get hit by Axe, after they get hit by Cross, after they get hit, that is disgusting. Oh, and that hits the edge, man. The whip, such ridiculous range. Probably the coolest move to see hit, because it's like a whip with like a morning star, just like in your face. Yep. That's funny that you call that morning star. I've always wondered why that's the name for, for like a flail chain Like thing. a ball and chain? Yeah, why? It looks like a sun, It maybe? looks like the sun, yeah. Yeah, like that's a morning what I thought. Like, Yeah, because like yeah, I guess the spikes make it look like the rays, you know, like yeah. in your, your child's drawing of the sun. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. I buy that. Yeah, morning star, flail, um, all those things. I mean, I'm talking medieval. I mean, that, that's Richter. Medieval, you know? Yeah. Castlevania, the whole nine yards. Dude, I, I found myself last night reading the Wikipedia page or Castlevania wiki for Richter Belmont. He's born in 1773. So not many jokes. Nope. Yep. He's a. Um, I don't even know what's called that period. Inspired. Yeah. Like. Uh, Semi-Victorian. Not. Too yeah, Victorian. but no, nah, no. Nah, that's, I mean, that's that's later. For a couple sure. of years before the Declaration of Independence. I don't even know. Revolutionary American times. This even is not Paul Revere. Paul Revere did yeah. not dress with all these belts. Right. <laughs> I like to think that he didn't at least. Anyways, the British are not coming in this set. Instead, Nurse, you know, starting up the game a little slow, but that's kind of what you have to do as Richter. I mean, it's a lot of setup, setting up, setting up, setting up. So that's why a character like this might struggle with characters in the meta like Zero Suit, like Wolf, characters that get in your face, make the space between you turn to nothing, and then you have to deal with that. So yep. Zelda isn't very good at that, and with zoning tools of her own, I mean, clearly inferior to the ones that Richter has. On top of the fact that this Morning Star just, like, circumnavigates everything you want to do. She's a pseudo zoner slash counter zoner, right? You've got two projectiles of your own, or I mean one and a half if you don't really want to count the knight like that. But of course having Nehru's love, I thought would be very effective here against Richter, but it's such a commitment too. Yeah, there's just so many projectiles coming out too that you can't hope to reflect them all. Yeah, and it's not like a classic reflector like Wolf, like Falco. Um, well, Falco's you throw up, but you know, with Fox, like, oh my lord, what? 76 post hit. I think it was at like 40, 48 before the holy water connected.